Good morning and welcome to a wild 2024. So this morning I got up nice and early and I've headed out to Brockholes Nature Reserve, uh, which is just 20 minutes drive from me. And I haven't been here for about oh, four, five, six months now. Um, so I'm hoping for a really good day. It is extremely wet. I don't think uh, so a lot of people realise how much water has, has fallen in the last few months here. I mean, the ground is saturated across the country. It's just unprecedented, really. But now I'm here this morning, hopefully to get some uh, images of the roe deer, which I'm hoping are still around. Like I say, I've not been here for six months, so a lot has changed. The ground is saturated. Um, I've no idea what I'm going to do. Um, from what I believe, nobody has seen the barn owls for quite a while either, um, just to the ground being so wet and the lack of food. Um, there are tawny owls in the area, um, but I'm going to save that for another video and another day when I'm going to come out and spend uh, the morning, probably about four or five o'clock in the morning, with my thermal imaging camera and come and try and find the tawny owls. But no, it's going to be a fantastic day today, I hope. Plenty of wildlife, plenty of common birds. Um, just nice to be out um, in preparation for my trip to the Cairngorms on Sunday. So looking forward to that. Hopefully this high pressure that everyone's been talking about will come in and we'll get some dry and fine weather for that week. But no, I hope you all had a great Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Um, and let's... Look forward to a wonderful, wild 2024. Well, absolutely fantastic. So I waited over, I waited over where I was for about 45 minutes and it was just dead quiet, there was nothing around. So I decided to go and see if I could find my gloves. Found them, so that's a plus. Um, anyway, on the way back, just walking down the path here and there were some roe deer in this field, running around, chasing each other. Initially they saw me, um, so I sort of just kept kept dead still and to sort of ran the other way um, but I think in in all the um, enthusiasm and the joyful of a new year and a new beginning um, they came back into the field and made the way across and up into the woodland perfect so managed to see some roe deer this morning and I'm going to make my way through the woods now um, hopefully photograph some birds and anything else that we may see. Um, it's been a while since I've been here, so I've got to sort of familiarise myself of where the animals are because they do move around. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And a good plus, got my gloves, seen the road here. So I'm going to make my way through the woods and see what else we can find.
Okay, so I've made my way down to one of the hides now. Um, left the woods and thought I'd come and concentrate a bit on the waterways. And I've got two grey herons here right in front of me. One literally just, just down here. So I've got my tripod set up. I'm trying to just bridge over this bench at the moment. And I'm trying not to make too much noise as the one of the herons is really very close. Um, but there are lots of birds on the water, lots of swans and ducks and cormorants. So hopefully we'll get a bit of action. But I don't want to keep on talking. So I'm going to get the camera set up and hopefully this grey heron in front of me will make its way further across in front of the hide. So what I've done is I've decided to shoot manual um, photographing and videoing this heron here just because I've got some grass in front of it and the camera is just picking up on the reeds before the heron. So all I've done is I've done a manual focus pinned on, on the eye of the, the heron. And I'm shooting at F9 so I've got myself a bit of, uh, bit of leeway with the depth of field. Um, and trying to keep the bird in focus as much as possible if it does go down and catch something from the water. Um, the only problem is as I've got a heron there and a heron there <laughs> and I have to quickly switch back into autofocus for that heron that is out in the open. Anyway, let's see what happens. So I'm in one of those situations now where I'm focused on the heron. I've been here for about 45 minutes and I've got everything set up, trigger in my hand, waiting for the heron just to dive and get that fish from the water. But the question is, how long do you stay for? The thing is, is if I pack my camera up, you can guarantee that the heron will take a fish out of the water. And it always happens, always happens. And you always see stuff, 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, half an hour later, another 10 minutes, and then the heron just flies away and doesn't catch anything. But if you don't, put the time in you're not going to get anything so I'll give it a little bit longer a lot of noise from the motorway here though that's the only thing that puts me off this place is just the constant droning of the, the cars literally it's 100 yards behind me So I'm using um, my GoPro 12 and my Canon R6 for videoing myself doing these videos today just trying out to see whether or not it's going to work for when I go to Scotland um, or whether I just sort of use the GoPro rather than carrying around the R6 with me um, with the 24 with the 16 and 24 mil lens it's just going to make things a little easier I think just just with all the walking and, and laying in the snow etc setting things up it may be easy just to, just to have the gopro set up um but i'm going to see see what it looks like anyway but it's a beautiful day here let me just uh pick the gopro up 
and I'll show you what it looks like out here. This is just fantastic. I've got two road here just up on the hill in front of me minding their own business I'm down here and they're just enjoying themselves Unbelievable. Go on. Somebody want to get your dog under control. So. Well, what an absolute shame that is. I was perfectly set up there on the footpath. I had these roe deer. There must have been, I think there were about five in total on the hillside here, completely happy that I was down on the footpath. They were on the hillside eating um, and just foraging around absolutely fine. And then all of a sudden, somebody's dog came running down the hill and chased them all the way. Unbelievable, unbelievable. There's plenty of signs saying, keep your dogs on leads. People know this is a nature reserve and there's, there's wildlife here, but some people just don't seem to care or, or understand that at all. Um, but there you go. I'm not going to go on about it. It happened. Um, but I'm hoping that the deer ran down the hill and they may have come into this field here behind me. Um, so I'm going to stick it out for an hour and just see if they make an appearance. But that was a real shame. I was, I was perfectly positioned there, manual focused, bit of video and photo. Um, there you go. Anyway, let's see what else we can get today. Well, what a fantastic day here it's been at Brock Holes. Good to be back. I need to spend a bit more time um, coming here and, and just doing a bit more exploration. It has been an absolute mud bath. I've got mud on everything. I don't think I've got a bit of equipment without some mud on it today. 
Um, but no, great. I managed to catch up with the road deer that didn't show up here on the field. I waited for about half an hour and then made my way back down into the woodland where I saw them up on the hillside again. So I've managed to just sit down and I just got a few more pictures of them. Um, it, it, they blend in this time of year to this sort of environment so, so well. The only way you can actually see them is the uh, white fluff on the behind of them um, as they're walking off. But no, great day. Um, they made then made the way across into this field. So I got one or two shots uh, of one of them quite a way down there, but they've made the way down the field now, down towards the river. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. The sun is about to go behind a big bank of cloud. So I've only got probably 20 minutes worth of decent light left. And I'm looking forward to getting off to the Cairngorms on Sunday. I'm gonna sort all my gear out over the next couple of days. Got a few jobs to do. Um, got to clean all my equipment and clothing because it's covered in mud. Um, but no, thanks for a fantastic year. Looking forward to a great 24 full of wildlife and adventures. No idea what 24 is going to bring me, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And I look forward to sharing it all with you guys here on YouTube. So until the Cairngorms, take care and I'll see you on the next trip.